Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One of my longest subscribers has sent me a beautiful story. And I'm going to read her story with a little bit of my spin on it. And I'm going to finish with Pat's Two Cents because this has some powerful messages to it. Listen. And I hope this blesses you. And if you know somebody this can bless, please share it with them. Okay, listen to this is a true story, but she's changed names for the sake of privacy. Hi, Pat. Hope you're doing well. I have a story I would like to share with you. If you have the time, please consider doing a video. It's an extremely important message. Most of all, it's a true story. My daughter had a good childhood friend. I'll call her Denise for privacy reasons. Something sad, but more importantly, beautiful happened this week, this past week. Let me start by telling you a little about Denise. She had a very rough childhood. Her parents were both on drugs. Her mom died when Denise was just a teenager. And one thing after the other led Denise into her own addiction and eventually into prostitution. Now Denise had several children throughout the years and those children were either adopted or being raised by their fathers. Praise God for good fathers. Several years ago, Denise got cleaned up after many, many years. She started attending church and became mm, so in love with the Lord. She was so on fire for God and started to understand her own self-worth. She even got a decent job working in an office. She really was changing her life around. But unfortunately, that didn't last long. She started to fall back into her old habits. Fast forward to a month ago. She overdosed and was in such bad shape that she had to be put on life support. Her family decided to take her off of life support as they didn't want to see her in that state. A friend of Denise had set up a GoFundMe page and contacted a preacher who baptized Denise a few years ago prior when she was clean and sober in hopes that he would share the page with his, excuse me, with his congregation. But the preacher said that just when he was about to share the page, he received a prophetic message. This, this was the, the message. That what was dead would live. So he personally went to the hospital and prayed over Denise as she was hooked up to the machinery. The next day, Denise awoke from the state she was in. She told the preacher, check this out, that Demons were coming after her as she was in that coma. <sighs> this is crazy. All right then. And there she repented. She repented once again. That's Pat's two cents. Okay. Sadly though, Denise's health took a turn for the worse with the next day and two with the next day or two. And she since has passed away. She was only 36 years old. This all happened just last week. This is a true story. This is a woman who just died. She, however, had the chance to come out of the comatose state to tell how she saw demons coming after her. But praise God, she repented during a final time on this earth. Heaven and hell are real. Jesus is real. 
And we all will bow before him someday. Now, I say to you what she said to me. If you believe this may help someone, please share it. Now, I'm going to add my two cents. To some of you, it may seem like, oh, she was resurrected, basically. I mean, she came out of that coma. Boom. She didn't get tied, t tangled up with those demons. God delivered her. Then he saved her, gave her a second chance so she could make it into heaven. Well, guess what? God knew what her emotional, mental, psychological, spiritual state was. And through his mercy, and I'm telling you, I know this was God's mercy. He knew he'd better call her home or she might just flip back again and not have a chance next time. God's mercy got her to heaven while she was still able to go. Those demons were after her because of all the doors she had opened up through the years. See, when you're hurting, when you're broken, when you're wounded, when you're bruised, when, you know, your life is dysfunctional, demons take advantage of that. And they come in like a flood. But as you can see, God lifted up a standard against Denise's enemies. And he delivered her from her enemies and pulled her up into heaven before another enemy could do any more damage to Denise's life. That's God's love. And if you want to know if heaven and hell is real, What's the point of having demons if there is no hell? I've seen my share of demons. I know people who have battled demons. I'm telling you, those suckers are real. So you can, you know, go into your little intellectual hiding closet if you want to. You can go into denial if you choose to. But there's going to come a day, choose or no choose, when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord and the demons and the devil will be doing it too. Only they'll be going to hell afterwards. Where will you be going? What will you do with your life? The way you start does not have to determine how you end up. All of us have areas of dysfunctional uh, pitfalls in our lives. We can park our bus there, set up camp, and never choose to leave that spot. Or we can say to the past, talk to the hand, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, baby. I got somewhere I got to go. Turn your back on it and focus on what God has for your destiny. And don't let any poop butts or any little uh, uh, trick bags pull you off your beaten path. And put yourself at the mercy where you got to be rescued or you go to hell. No. Stay in your lane. Stay focused on God. Stay within his plan. God has a purpose for you to be here. Satan has a purpose for his demons to come after your behind. Don't let Satan win. You win in Jesus. God bless you. I hope that story did something for you. That, was, that just showed me that much more. How much God loves us. His mercy. See, he doesn't... I, I, I know I'm trying to finish, but he doesn't deal with us based on sins alone. He deals with the deep-seated causes of those sins. Man looks on the outward appearance. Mm, show is jacked up. Mm, mm, mm. God looks at the heart. My poor baby, she's been through so much. I'm going to get her out of here. I'm going to take her to safety. 
where my love is eternally. Mm. God bless you.